For 9,000 years, humans have lived alongside domestic pigs. They've been man's perfect partner in consuming the waste that humans produce and converting it straight into calories, or rather, as pork for us to eat. But that all changed just over a decade ago. After the outbreak of foot and mouth and its devastating consequences for British livestock in 2001, politicians introduced a temporary ban on feeding catering waste to pigs without considering its environmental and economic impacts. That ban then became permanent across the whole of the EU. We now have a crazy system where pigs are being fed food that humans could otherwise eat, and much of this feed is soy, grown on the Amazonian basin where rainforests are being cut down at an alarming rate. 97% of global soy production is used for animal feed, and Europe now imports 40 million tonnes of soy meal a year. This is just not sustainable. And it's hurting UK pig farmers. Many of them are now going out of business because of the expensive price of grain, when they have a ready-made food source in the form of food waste for their livestock. A significant proportion of farmers now want to feed those livestock swill. The UK is also out of step with the rest of the world. The governments of other countries, such as Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, China and many states in America, recognise that the best way of turning food waste into a valuable resource is to feed it to livestock. Instead of banning the practice, the Japanese government support pig farmers who want to use food waste as feed. The resulting pork is sold at the premium as eco-pork on the same supermarket shelves from which the waste originated. Working in restaurants and kitchens, we separate out food waste into the correct bins to avoid cross-contamination. It's a really easy solution. Returning to that old practice of recycling food waste into livestock feed is also a brilliant way of increasing Europe's food security for the future.